Hello and welcome to Community Chats. I'm your host, Ali Hammer, and today we're interviewing Aaron Wallace, the founder and CTO at Lexa. Aaron, thank you so much for joining us today. Can you start by telling our audience a little bit about Lexa? Yeah, for sure. So Lexa is a customer data and experience platform, and uh, we help our brands and retailers drive incremental sales um, through improved customer engagements and experiences. Uh, we're, uh, as, as a CDP, uh, we're really ex- sort of specifically built for retail. Um, and uh, a lot of what we sort of do is really think about how customer data can be used in really effective ways for retailers. Um, we've got a really strong success team that help teach proven ROI, personalized stories and engagements um, uh, that sort of surround all of our technology. Thanks so much for sharing, Aaron. And I think I could see on your T-shirt peeping up that it says data. Can you give yes, us a quick look? Yes, it does. Yeah, we've got great, <laughs> great swag. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. So how has the partnership between AWS and Lexa kind of impacted Lexa's evolution over the past couple of years? Yeah, it's, it's um, well, look, it's been a journey. I started Lexa back in 2008. And to be really honest, like, I don't think that Lexa would really exist without AWS and cloud computing in general. So When I first sort of started the organization, we were doing huge volume data analysis around social media content and so on. And I would have had to have gone out and and actually purchased like physical infrastructure and found a rack that I could put it in in some data center. The cost to turn that on and activate it would have been so, so high. Um, And instead, you know, cloud was still pretty much in its infancy around then, but it was stable enough for me to be able to actually start playing around with what has become Lexo. Um, and, and, you know, that, that so I kind of owe a lot to cloud computing in the ability to sort of start the organization. And then like kind of more recently, obviously that's like 10 years ago, 11 years ago now, um, more recently, it's kind of uh, about the tools and services that are being stood up around AWS that allow us to, to sort of spend less time writing code and more time configuring services. So we sort of got a bit of a faster go to market um, because of sort of the services that, that we can sort of turn on pretty easily. Wow, that's really great to hear. And thank you so much for sharing. And over the last, uh, you know, kind of two years, Aaron, it's been pretty tough out there. So what have you learned during this time that is actually helping you to sustain Lex's impressive growth? Because you are one of the few companies that have actually skyrocketed during this uh, really difficult time. Some, some, there's kind of two really strong points that sort of come to mind for me around that. The first is that we were really fortunate to already have a pretty strong work from home culture in the organization. We have um, a pretty fantastic office in St Kilda um, in Melbourne, which is where a majority of our team are based, um, although we do have offices all around the world now. Um, and uh, but, but even though we kind of all came into the office and all did things together, um, uh, from, from that sort of case, there was always this strong ability to sort of be like, I need to work from home today because I've got some stuff going on or, you know, I've got a tradie coming through or I've got to go to the doctor in the middle of the day or whatever. And that was something that was already really strong. So when, when we went into lockdown the first time, that's kind of like everyone already had their laptops at home and everyone already had access to things. And there wasn't really that sort of shock that we had to re-engineer parts of the business or work on on our processes to sort of be able to work. In saying that though, obviously we had to change a lot of how we worked. Our culture has historically been a very in-person culture. So on, on Fridays in the office, for example, we actually have this great thing, which I can't wait to get back to, which is every Friday, a different team would cook lunch for the whole company. Right. Um, and, you know, so and you'd sit down and you'd meet all the new Lexis who came on and we'd be breaking bread together and having like a big feast could just literally be a sausage sizzle in the in the car park through to uh, an, an Indian curry feast with like, you know, by a whole team of people or something. It was it was really quite spectacular. So that was really difficult to, to continue, obviously impossible to continue doing in lockdown. Um, But the bonds that we had around that ability to work from home and a really strong value-led organisation kind of made that a little bit easier than than maybe would have been if we didn't have those strengths already in the team. It's really awesome to hear that your team have felt so comfortable to lean on each other for support while still delivering your goals during this tough time. So, Aaron, what do you think are the biggest risks facing your industry at the moment? 
privacy is a really important part that, that plays really strongly today. And I look at what's going on with kind of the cookie apocalypse and all of the changes to, um, you know, how cookies can be used, what tracking is allowed to be permitted, um, changes to things like GDPR and, and so on. Um, it's really, it's kind of a bit of uncharted territory for advertisers today. It's really unclear for them as to how they would go out and do prospecting in an effective way like they have been able to do with those sort of technologies that have been around for a while. Um, so you know, we, we've been working really aggressively um, since day dot, since actually since Lex's inception to not be reliant on cookies and to instead have other tools that allow uh, you know, a retailer to have a direct relationship with a customer, um, to have permission to advertise to them and communicate with them um, from, from the very get-go, instead of sort of using a lot of this anonymous technology that's, that's actually quite at risk right now. Um, and it's a bit, of a bit of uncharted territories. Yeah, absolutely. It's really awesome and reassuring to hear that Lexa has those tools to make it easy for brands and retailers to kind of circumvent some of those privacy challenges that are starting to bubble up. So Aaron, what's next for Lexa? I mean, you've been around since 2008, you're doing incredible things. Where are you heading? The big thing for us is that we sort of started off really focusing in the enterprise space. We had some really fantastic, very large customers that are still working with us today, many, many, many years on. But as we sort of grow, we're sort of asking ourselves, how do we bring that enterprise technology that we've been working on refining and building out and testing um, uh, you know, in some cases for the last decade and bring that to a broader market and, and help smaller businesses that definitely do not have, you know, the, the marketing scale of enterprise, like the hundreds of staff, hundreds of data scientists and so on, but might only have like five or six people working in the entire organization. How can they benefit from the technology and the tools and the services that we offer? Um, and, and how do we as an organization actually help deliver that? Because, you know, right now, uh, you know, MarTech tools in a lot of cases, especially data science heavy tools, definitely require a lot of um, administration, a lot of capability. Um, so we're really focused on like automating, um, bringing in a lot of self-service tools so that uh, a marketer who might not be familiar with how to do data analysis or how to do personalized marketing, have all of the tools that they sort of need um, that they could turn on a really great campaign in the afternoon in between all of their other tasks that they're doing. That would be super exciting. I mean, I cannot wait to, to see you guys succeed in this space and to service all different sizes of businesses so that, you know, those smaller companies can definitely should be able to reap the benefits as well. So thank you so much, Aaron, for joining us on Community Chats today. I really can't wait to watch your journey. And if anyone has any questions, please pop them in the comment section below and we'll get back to you. Thank you so much.